Hi everybody, this is CT Readings, and hi Virgo, how are you guys doing? So let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Virgo, in case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay, you can also have a look at your 2024 predictions linked in the description box below if you would like. Okay, so let's just see what's happening for you, Virgo. So Venus is in your third house, which is Scorpio energy in your third house. So there could be something good happening in the area of, uh, of your life where there's learning, expansion, um, co-workers, new opportunities okay and then mercury retrograde is going to be in your fifth house in capricorn so somebody from the past could come back okay somebody you had an affair with <laughs> for some of you you know fifth house is generally a, a house where we have fun it's also connected to children so for some of you somebody could show up who could be um, you know who you have children with maybe or something about your child could come up as well in December we have the king of Pentacles in the reverse here hmm what is this about please what is this about Um, you're not feeling good Virgo when it comes to something about your finances um, you're feeling kind of eh, you know like I don't know there's this there's this energy of you not feeling good about something when it comes to your finances or some sort of an expense that may be coming up ten of swords something here is coming to an end for you um i do feel like with the six of pentacles energy something better could show up but before that i see you going through an ending some of you may be connecting with a person who you feel like is really selfish oh, wait a second so yeah there's somebody you're viewing as a uh, as selfish okay some of you may feel like this person is not really worthy of your time and your attention um, there's definitely an energy of you closing the cycle with somebody but it's like with the ten of swords here it was already something that was super burdening and exhausting for you so there's something like that i see here it's coming to an end um yeah the hangman I feel like Virgo something is happening in your life that has you thinking like you're thinking and contemplating about what the situation is and why it is the way that it is okay I do feel like yeah there's this energy of you thinking and contemplating exactly see so because you've you've gone through something tough here in the past i do feel like as your as your energy here is moving forward you're becoming more detached from this and i feel like a lot of you are detaching yourself from this situation because you want to have a look at the situation from a different perspective some of you may have pisces in your chart somewhere or i would suggest you check out pisces reading um, to get a better overlook of this but i do think here that um, you are separating yourself from something because you um, 
you want to have a look at the situation from a different perspective and there's a certain level of detachment that you're practicing it's like as time is passing by you're becoming um sorry you're becoming more um comfortable here in your truth okay you're becoming comfortable in your truth the devil um, oh my goodness okay I do see here when it comes to love I see an offer I see somebody coming towards you but there's this energy of you feeling like this person has other options or you kind of know that they have other options um there is an unhealthy obsession here or unhealthy attachment to something with a person and you know about it but the thing with this is that you f you really feel a connection with somebody a deep connection with somebody but this connection is a little bit toxic okay and you know it yeah this is somebody you know and you have a soulmate connection with six of cups and the lovers together in a reading it represents a soulmate um i see you connecting with a soulmate virgo i see you connecting with somebody who you bond with really really well but there is a problem with this relationship and the problem here seems to be the fact that either something is too confusing or there's involvement of other people in this okay what are the future energies like for virgo please magician so things are moving forward for you virgo i do think here that there is something you're working on but you're keeping it a secret i do think that some of you have this underlying anxiety or stress about something and i i feel like you're keeping things to yourself you're not really revealing you know what you're truly feeling within but it's like you're still working on your self-confidence you know you're making things happen with the magician energy and the moon energy the fool card the tower it's it's almost like a lot of you are in this energy where if there's something that's falling apart you're tired of being the one who saves the situation and it's like you're saving yourself seriously Virgo don't tell me that you don't want to communicate with somebody but the problem here is that some of you feel like every time you communicate with this person they stir up some drama or they tend to ruin things some of you feel like you're dealing with a person who you love but they're selfish and they the way they say things or the way they do things it kind of just like puts you off you know it's it's like with the eight of wands and the death card i feel like you 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 want to put in effort but you don't want to be the only one who's putting in effort if that makes sense let me get this light a little bit oh please okay you know so you don't want to be the only one who's doing the work in the connection that's where you stand with this person i'm going to continue this reading in the extended so don't worry with that but let's see show me more future energies for virgo we have here the page of wands and the tower the same energy that i saw before so there are going to be lots of sudden changes virgo um sudden news or some sort of a sudden change could happen in your life um something here surrounding a news okay and this news is connected to something you've been trying to manifest maybe it's something money related okay we have three of wands yeah 
I do think here, Virgo, that if there's something you've been wanting to manifest when it comes to money or something about travel, you're going to be able to do that. There is some sort of a positive news coming towards you surrounding your money situation, or it could be some other situation too, but it's like also boosting your self-confidence. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like this is a great time to bond with people you love, people you, you feel safe and secure with. And, you know, there's definitely something here about money getting better for you. Okay, so let's pull some more cards for your person. After this, I'm going to pick out Oracle messages. And in the extended, I'm going to see how is your person feeling about you, thinking about you, how they're viewing you, their future actions. We have two more cards for your person with the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, Virgo, you cannot tell me that this person does not love you. <laughs> they love you. But I feel like this person feels like things are a little bit difficult. It's a little bit of a rocky situation between you and this person. And you do have Gemini Full Moon coming up on November 27th. I don't know when you're going to be watching this reading. But there could be a, a release here in, in terms of uh, letting go of something, letting go of uh, a negative energy surrounding a love situation or a friendship here as well. Okay. For a lot of you, there is a money-related situation that's coming to an end or a, a job. You could be leaving for a new job or something like that. And it's like, I do think that a door is closing for you, Virgo, but many others are opening. Okay, so let's see. This is your person's feelings for you, how they view you, actions they plan on taking. Where is this relationship going and your advice? We have two cards for your advice. So I'm going to reveal those cards in the extended. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this relationship or this situation is, is looking a little bit rocky here. We will see what that is. Um, all right, so let's see. What is your Oracle message, your soul journey message? What does Virgo need to know right now, please? What does Virgo need to know right now? Okay. Regret. Do you regret something, Virgo? It says, I know that I cannot change the past. So Spirit is telling you to come to terms with the fact that there's something here that you've made a mistake. Uh, like there's, there's a situation in which you've made a mistake, but you also need to accept that it's okay, it's done, and you cannot change it. So instead of beating yourself up over, oh, I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that, this is more so like an energy of you uh, moving forward. okay so that's about it virgo those were the messages that showed up for you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if it resonated have a look at the extended for a better insight into your person's energy and also your blessings and your challenges and your 2024 predictions will also be in the description box below and that's it i'll see you guys next time bye bye